self-described mystifier, famous worldwide for his paranormal performances. Now he's an expert on NBC's new primetime show. It's called Phenomenon. I really haven't seen you in a long time. Nice to have you back. Thank you very much, Matt. So, so this show is, is searching for the next great illusionist or mentalist. And so you've met the 10 contestants. Are, are they the real deal? Yeah, they're, they're amazing. They're astonishing. And let me tell you, Phenomenon is really about entertainment because I don't really care how they do it. What I care about, I want to see mind-blowing acts. I want my, the hair on my arm to stand. I want to be mesmerized. That's what we're looking for. And I've seen some things that quite honestly freaked me out. So if they freaked you out, they're really going to freak us out because you've seen just about it all, all of it. Well, yeah, more or less. And also, I will be actually conducting um, an interesting intuitive experiment with people at home. So it's, it's a lot of fun. I guarantee you, you're going to be glued to the television set. Well, you know, guys like you, you even have come under criticism and cynicism and skepticism. When you hear people doubt your abilities and what you, does it bother you or you just shrug it off? Are you kidding me? Controversy you can't buy. <laughs> this is fantastic. Do you know what? Very funny. Irony. 35 years ago, I walked into Johnny Carson to do the Johnny Carson show and I thought, my goodness, that's it, Uri Geller made it. And Johnny Carson, I didn't know, was an amateur magician and I walked into a trap and I failed. For 22 minutes, I sat there humiliated and the only thought that went through my mind, Uri Geller, you're finished. The well. next day, Merv Griffin calls me, hey, I want you on my show. Right, and yeah. My, so controversy is great, but look, for the fun of it, for entertainment purposes. Real, real quick, no, Uri, we'll save that because I can't do it right now. I'll do it in a second, all right? Let me tell okay. people the show starts tonight. We're back after your local news. Whose house is that, Frank? That is your house, Mama. Everything about Frank Lucas' life seems unpretentious, orderly, and legitimate. This is your father?